Alrighty guys, uh, glassed up a good buck and I think we got him pinned down so I'm gonna head out and see if we can't hopefully get close and have him not disappear like we've been having happening. But uh, man, an uphill battle this hunt, but hopefully if we just keep going to the post like we are and trying to get the job done, it'll work out. So heading out now, unfortunately I couldn't get any phone scope footage of the buck for you guys because my tripod's having an issue. I won't like lock into a position, but uh, in either case, I'm gonna go give it a try and see if we can't get the job done. Wish me luck. Woo. Oh, guys, holy, holy shit. This has been easily one of the toughest hunts I've ever done, if not the hardest. Spotted a buck. He disappeared. I came over as the absolute worst stalking conditions I've ever had. Everything was so loud. I stalked in. He was sleeping at 30, 40 yards, then I got to 30. Finally he lifted his head so I could see which direction he was pointing. And I freaking hit him a little back and he ran at got to 60 and I smoked him at 60 and he went down. Unbelievable. Holy smokes. I freaking love mule deer hunting. It's so hard. If you're an East Coast guy and you think it's easy, come out to the desert and try to get a mule deer buck with your bow. Oh, shit. Unbelievable. Well, uh, this may be the toughest hunt I've ever done. It's definitely up there. Um, just the terrain made it extremely difficult to stalk and see, see deer and uh, made it really easy to lose them in the sand dunes and uh, just everything about it was very very difficult but uh, you know we stayed persistent and went to the post every day and ended up with this beautiful uh, three by four uh, or nine point mule deer buck so very very grateful to harvest this beautiful buck and uh, to do it in such a I always really enjoy hard hunts for some reason, stuff that's just like almost impossible. And this hunt definitely felt that way. So um, just to get it done in those conditions feels really rewarding and very grateful to share it not only with my dad, but all the viewers as well of the channel. So yeah, I got in to about four, 38 yards and he was bedded down. I tried to throw a couple rocks, which I've never tried and he just wouldn't get up. And then uh, I crept into 30 yards and actually was able to get a shot on him while he was bedded. And then he got up and ran to 61 yards and smoked him again. And he went down only 40 yards from where he was bedded. So <clears throat> it went really well. And again, just super, super stoked to get it done and try so hard and uh, be able to fill a tag here in New Mexico so really grateful for that and uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you in the next clip
What do you think? We did it. We got one. Quite a few days out here. It's quite a bit of work. But good Lord blessed us and there's good. James found them all bedded down there and did the number on them. So we got them all packed up. A little few flies around here. And we got a, I don't know, about a mile walk out. So here we go. Let's do it. Last load. Feels good. Heavy packs. It was fun. <laughs>